replace the filters and the RO membrane, all you need is a screwdriver and a clean rag. First replace the pre-filters. There are two pre-filters, a PP filter and a carbon filter. When the LED indicator light flashes red, it is time to change the pre-filters. Before replacing the filters, run one cycle with no water in the supply pitcher. This will release water and pressure from the filters. When the light is steady yellow, you can replace the filters. Unplug the power cord. Unscrew the two screws on the back of the purifier and remove the back cover. Unscrew the first stage filter, remove it, and replace it with a new filter. Unscrew the second stage filter, remove it, and replace it with a new filter. Replace the back cover to complete the pre-filter's replacement. Plug the power cord back in. The following is the reset procedure for the pre-filter indicator. After changing the pre-filters, to reset the filter replacement timer, press the control button and hold it in for about 5 seconds. When you hear two beeps, this indicates that the system pre-filter timer is reset. Post filter replacement. The LED light is illuminating a steady red light. It is time to change the post filters. Before replacing the filters, run one cycle with no water in the supply pitcher. This will release water and pressure from the filters. When the light is steady yellow, you can replace the filters. Unplug the cord and remove the back cover. Pull the post filter out from the retaining clips. Before replacing, note the flow direction indicated on the filter label. To remove the connector fitting, push the collet ring in toward the filter. While holding the collet ring in, Slide the fitting out of the filter. Repeat the same procedure to remove the fitting from the other end of the filter. Replace with a new post filter. Pay close attention to the direction of flow indicated by the arrow on the outside of the filter. Push the connector fittings into the filter as far as they can go into the connection. Push the post filter back into the retaining clips. Replace the back cover to complete the post filter replacement. Plug the power cord back in. Reset procedure for post filter. After changing the post filters, you need to reset the post filter timer. Press the LED indicator switch, and while holding the switch depressed, Plug in the power cord. When you hear two beeps, it indicates the system post filter timer is reset. After changing the post filter, do not drink the water from the first two filtration cycles. After the second cycle, remove the pure water pitcher and clean. Use tap water to clean the pure water reservoir and supply pitcher. RO membrane replacement. The RO membrane should be replaced at the same time you replace the post filter for the second time. Before replacing the filters, run one cycle with no water in the supply pitcher. This will release water and pressure from the filters. 
When the light is steady yellow, you can replace the filters. Unplug the power cord. Remove the back cover. Remove the post filter from the retaining clips. Take off the holding clips. Remove the RO cartridge. Remove the C-clip from the top connector fitting. Push the fitting in towards the membrane cartridge. Push up on the bottom of the collet ring to slide the fitting off of the RO cartridge. Remove the tubing from the other end. Note the middle tube goes to the pure water pitcher and the outer tube is concentrated water that goes back to the supply pitcher. Push the fitting in towards the cartridge and then push out on the collet ring to slide the fitting off of the cartridge. Do this for both fittings. Replace with a new RO membrane. Connect the tube with the flow restrictor to the supply pitcher outlet, outlet that is on the outer edge of the cartridge. Push it in as far as it will go. Connect the other tube to the pure water outlet. This is the outlet at the center of the cartridge. Push it in as far as it will go. Connect the fitting to the top of the new RO cartridge. Push the fitting in as far as it will go. Pull out a little bit so you can slide the C-clip under the collet ring to lock the fitting in place. Push the RO cartridge back into the retaining clips. Push the post filter retaining clips back onto the RO cartridge. Push the post filter into the retaining clips. Replace the back cover. Plug in the power. The purifier is ready for use.